Hello everyone, this is April. I'm coming to you with my journal and I am unemployed. And I thank the Lord for it because I've been doing things towards my career now that I have time for. I thank the Lord for supplying all my needs. He told me from the beginning that I will never lack in anything and I have been receiving blessings from left to right. God told me when I left my job that my life was going to change completely. The way of living, the way I've been living is going to be all changed in how I've been doing, uh, going about the daily routine of my life. And I'm starting to feel it. Now it's more that um, I'm doing as the Lord tells me. He sent me different places and I go. And I have been feeling like a lot of people has been feeling this world. And I did in my recent video, I was crying out to God because, like I said, this is not comfortable. This is something different. I'm not used to it. So I cried. I trust the Lord, but I cried out to the Lord, saying to him, Lord, like, what's going on here i don't know anything about this i don't know what's going on i don't know what to do or where to go or what to say i'm so used to knowing that you know because my life was just a daily routine get up go to work i knew that that's what i had to do but now i just go as the lord tell me but then it's like things have changed my finances have changed i don't have an income but as I said, God has been provided for me in mysterious ways. It's just <laughs> been provided for me in very mysterious ways. And it's, it's amazing. I will say it like that. Um, I thank the Lord. <laughs> it's out of this world what God is doing in my life. And I knew that certain things was going to be in his arena. Right now I'm in a in a in a impossible situation just like I was when I went to Israel I wanted to go there but I didn't know how I was gonna get there but I was like Lord I want to go and what the Lord says he said yes he provided the whole way for me as I said I don't know how I'm I don't know how it came together did people give me money no it was all the Lord's doing and I thank the Lord for that even now I trust him I trust him with my whole heart He's going to do great things in my life. So what I have been doing lately is, as I said, doing as the Lord tells me to do. And one thing that I really, really enjoy doing is when he sends me out to help people. It's those who has been like feeling like they are um, rejected in society. But I have been feeling like that lately I told the Lord like where do I belong like I was struggling with the father and as I started to look for work I also started to look for work in ministry and there's not a lot of Christian jobs out there just for the believers just to do outreach just to win souls just to do the purpose of the Lord on this earth no jobs are right now about making money getting rich, get in the income, and then the church is within four walls, and they don't go beyond the four walls, we have went back to the cycle of the temple, going to the temple, and I don't want it to go the route that it goes, but the, the Lord wants the temple to come, like his people, he wants his people to come out. Not hide in the four walls. Me, I've been out in, in different forms of ministry. I've been doing Feed the Hungry. That's a form of ministry for me. And I got a video clip here, and which I'm going to play for you, of me feeding the hungry. And April 
right here. 9, 10, and 14. Bussing table. 9, 10, 9, 10, and... Okay. I'm bussing tables today. So this is going to be exciting. 9, 10, and 14. Okay. This is gonna be exciting. This is my little area, so. See ya later. to the point that I was serving people to this society would say below me I serve them and I tried my best to encourage them and God said God bless them I couldn't really talk too much because I was working but just to make sure they were sitting comfortable getting good food, make sure they get the fresh food they looking for, they supposed to get. It's a blessing to be able to serve those who the society has just pushed to the side as if they're nothing. And I have been feeling that way, Lord. I, it's a way of humbling myself. I'm like, hey, for the Lord, I will do what it takes. For God, I will suffer, Lord. If I have to feel like I'm being humiliated, I don't care. Because the Lord Jesus Christ was humiliated when he died on Calvary. They put him on display. He was disfigured. And I'm not greater than my master. So, if I had to be humiliated for the Lord's sake, I'm going to. I love him. He did it for me. And I owe him so much. I owe him my life. The air I breathe, it's just... Uh, it's his air, and the same air we breathe is the same air the homeless people breathe. It's the same air. We are created with the frame, just as the homeless people. We are created in his image. There's no big me, little you. There's no such thing as that in the I love the uh, scripture where God created man and woman. There was no, this one is rich, this one's poor. There was no cat, uh, categories where people are segregated. That's uh, as, uh, separation of race and culture and, and uh, financial classes. There was no, there's no separation in the Lord. Even when we get to heaven, there's not going to be any type of separation. Everybody's going to come together, one, as the body of Christ. One language, one way of life. Everybody understanding each other. Why? Because we're going to live eternity doing the will of the Lord. That's it. Worshiping the Lord. Living by his word. Those who accept the word and the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. Those are the ones who are going to make it into heaven. 
You see, what's going on on Earth is nothing compared to what the glory is. Nothing to com is nothing compared to the glory God has prepared for us. The inheritance. When we get to heaven, everything on Earth is gonna feel like a little pinch. We're gonna look back and it's like that was just a little pinch because this is so great. No matter what we go through, if you've been through hell and high water. When we get to heaven, it's going to be like numb. It's going to be numb. And I thank the Lord for, he's suffering with me, I'm suffering with him. He stick closer to me than a brother, just like the word says. He is right by my side when I'm going through. He never leaves my side. When I was making my money, he was there. There's certain people in your life, when you're doing good, they're all around you. When you're doing bad, they leave. God, the Father, is walking right next to me. While I'm going through, what I'm going through. This is my journal. God bless you. Stay encouraged.